This is my Serie A game week 37 predictions and betting tips. If you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave this video a like, and drop your predictions down in the comments. I do have to ask you guys just to excuse me. I have been extremely sick this week, and I'm just trying to get through these videos so that I can get them out for you guys. Let's get in to the first game. First up, we got Fiorentina taking on Napoli, an absolutely massive game. Now, Fiorentina coming off a 2-1 win over Monza, where they created a lot more chances than Monza and, was, and were pretty clinical in front of goal, getting those two goals. I do do think they will be a little bit disappointed that they conceded but they sit eight with only one loss in their last five games they're two points ahead of Napoli at the moment and they want to keep it that way Napoli coming off a 2-0 loss to Bologna at home where they had better possession and more chances but just could not get past Bologna who were 2-0 up within 15 minutes of the game starting. Napoli sit ninth, winless in their last five games. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw here, but my betting tip is Fiorentina draw, no bet. Next up, we got Lecce taking on Atalanta. Now, Lecce coming off a 2-0 loss to Udinese at home, had way better possession, but fewer chances and just couldn't keep Udinese out. They now sit 13 to 21 loss in their last five games and have already secured their uh, Serie A survival. So they're not playing for much at the moment. Atalanta... Coming off a 1-0 loss to Juventus in the Coppa Italia final, they had the better possession, but not a single shot on target, and they couldn't keep Juventus out. They lost at fifth with four back-to-back -back wins in the league. Um, <clears throat> a win here will seal their spot in the Champions League, which is absolutely phenomenal for Atalanta. For me, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Atalanta win, and my betting tip is Atalanta to win. <laughs> Next up, we've got Torino taking on AC Milan. Now, Torino coming off a 2-1 win over Verona away from home in what was an action-packed second half. Verona scored first, but Torino were gonna let them, weren't going to let them have it, equalizing 10 minutes later and then scoring the second goal and the winner. They lost a 10th with one loss in their last five games. AC Milan coming off a very good 5-1 win over Cagliari, where they just dominated the game, goal after goal going in. They bounced back after a few lackluster weeks of form. They sit second now with only one win in their last five games. They have secured the runner-up position for this season, but they will want to end strong. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw here. My betting tip is to Reno to win or draw in under three and a half goals. <laughs> Next up, we got Sassuolo taking on Cagliari. Now, Sassuolo coming off a 2-1 loss to Genoa, which is absolutely crazy because they had just beat Inter Milan about a week or two ago. They went into the second half 1-0 up, but then could not hold Genoa out. They said 19th with one win in their last five games. Only three points separate them from safety, so this is a must win from the, for them. Cagliari coming off a 5-1 loss against AC Milan just got absolutely dominated. They only have 33% possessions and only managed to get one past AC Milan, which, to be fair to them, is not bad at all. They sit 16th, winless in their last five games. They're one point clear of the relegation zone. So again, very, very important game for them. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw, and my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Next up, we got Udinese taking on Empoli. Now, Udinese coming off that good 2-0 win over Lecce away from home where they only had 35% possession. Went into the second half 1-0 up and they managed to bag another one. They sit 15th with one win in their last five games. One point clear of the relegation zone, so another very important game. Empoli coming off a 2-0 loss to Lazio. Had less possession and fewer chances. That game was always going to be a tough one. But now they face being relegated. Sit, they sit 18th with one win in their last five games. Very, very important games at the bottom of the table. But I'm going to go for a 1-0 Udinese win. And my betting tip is under two and a half goals. <laughs> Next up, we got Monza taking on Frosinon. Now, Monza coming off a 2-1 loss to Fiorentina, where they scored early in the ninth minute, had the lead, but then just could not keep uh, Fiorentina out of that game. They sit 12th now, winless in their last five games. They have very little to play for. Frosinon coming off a 5-0 loss to Inter Milan at home. Created more chances than Inter, um, but... We're never, ever going to win that game. Inter Milan are just so clinical in front of goal. They sit 17th now with one win in their last five games. T3 on that relegation zone. So again, very, very important game for them. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Frozzy non-win. And my betting tip is over two and a half goals. <laughs> Next up, we've got a big game. Inter Milan taking on Lazio. Now, Inter Milan coming off that 5-0 win over Frosinone. A good bounce back after their loss to Sassuolo. 
Uh, they've obviously won the league already with only one loss in their last 15 games. And Inter have a great home record, 14 matches unbeaten. Lazio coming off a 2-0 win over Empoli away from home. And what was a very good win, Empoli is a very difficult side to beat at home. But they sit seventh, unbeaten in their last five games. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Inter Milan. One of my betting tip is over two and a half goals. <laughs> Next up, we've got Roma taking on Genoa. Now, Roma coming off that 2-1 loss to Atalanta. Created their chances, but just couldn't keep Atalanta out. Um, they sit sixth now with only one win in their last five games, and they're eager to keep a European competition spot. Genoa coming off that 2-1 win over Sassuolo. Managed to equalize in the second half, and then an own goal from Sassuolo helped them win that game. They sit 11th, 31 loss in their last five games. They are regarded as good travelers, so I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw, and my betting tip is over two and a half goals. <laughs> Next up, we've got Salernitana taking on Verona. Now, Salernitana coming off a 1-1 draw against Juventus, where they only had 32% possession, scored in the 27th minute. They looked to have won the game, and then Juventus scored in the 91st minute. Just a little bit unlucky for them. That's the 20th winless in their last five games. Verona coming off a 1-2 loss to Torino, created more chances and scored first, but Torino came back very, very nicely. They said 14th with two wins from their last five games. They do want to get a little bit further away from the relegation zone. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw here. My betting tip is Verona to win or draw in under three and a half goals. <laughs> Then finally, we got Bologna taking on Juventus. Now, Bologna coming off that 2-0 win over Napoli, had less possession, scored in the 9th and the 12th minutes, and then that was the game. They now sit third unbeaten in their last five games. They're equal on points with Juventus, so they would love to finish top three. Juventus coming off a 1-0 win over Atalanta in the Coppa Italia final, scored early in the fourth minute, and then that was the game. They sit fourth, five consecutive draws in their last five games in Serie A. I do think Bologna want this more than them. I'm going to go for a 1-0 Bologna win and my betting tip is Bologna to win or draw in under three and a half goals. 